there are so many useful extensions for Google Chrome that can make your browsing experience more enjoyable. As most of you know that watched the first video in this series, Chrome extensions can also be used in other Chromium-based browsers like Vivaldi and Opera. Today I will show you five Chrome extensions that will include a mixture of well-known and lesser-known add-ons that are amazingly useful in helping to make you more productive, save you money, and enhance your overall browsing experience. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Number one, the Great Suspender. As most of you know, Chrome can be a resource hog. The Great Suspender is a lightweight extension which helps to reduce Chrome's memory footprint. If you're like me and sometimes have too many tabs open at the same time, this extension will suspend each tab. The tab will be restored whenever you need it just by clicking on that tab's page. This helps to ensure that there are no memory leaks or excessive JavaScripts are running. Let's go over some of the key settings. In general settings, the default is to automatically suspend tabs after one hour. If you're running an older computer or have low system specs, I would suggest reducing this time. There are several more settings here you can tick on or off. You have the option here for a light or dark theme when a tab suspends. I leave the screen capturing feature disabled since I have other methods for screen capture, so I don't know if it's any good. You can also whitelist a site so it never suspends. Currently, I only have one site whitelisted. You can also whitelist several sites at one time by just putting in part of the URL. For example, if I put in google.com, it will whitelist several Google sites. Whenever you're done messing with the settings, select Save Settings. If Chrome is your primary browser and you'd like to have several tabs open at one time, then the Great Suspender is a must-have extension. Number two, Wikiwand. If you go to Wikipedia frequently, this is another great extension that is useful for giving you an improved reading experience on Wikipedia. Wikiwand is an award-winning interface that cleans up the layout for improved readability. Here's what Wikipedia looks like without the extension. This is what Wikipedia looks like with the Wikiwand extension added. As you can see, the same page now has a fresher, cleaner look. What I like is the fixed table of contents on the left-hand side of the page. So no matter where you are on a page, it's easier to navigate to different sections. Whenever you hover your mouse over a link, there's a quick preview. Let's go back to the top of the page. There are several settings which include switching from a rich to a minimal look. You can change the font, switch to a dark mode, increase or decrease the text size, and you can increase or decrease the page size. What is great about this extension is that it is lightweight, and once you install it, you can forget about it. The Wikiwand interface will automatically appear every time you visit a Wikipedia page. Number three, Honey. This is one of the best Chrome extensions for shopping online. You can check for sales while on a retailer's site and during checkout, if there are any coupons, Honey will automatically apply coupon codes to your shopping cart. It's really easy to use. When you first land on a shopping site, you can click the Honey icon to find deals on that site. After you've done your shopping and you're ready to check out, during checkout, Honey will sometimes pop up with coupon codes that can be used for your order. I selected these men's shoes. Regular price was around $100. It's on sale for around 60. I'll select save money to see if there's a better deal. Now it's testing the codes. It says here there's a one to 20% cash bonus, but this store doesn't have working codes but Honey has you covered with a cash bonus. So continue to check out. Sometimes with the Honey extension, it'll find coupon codes for you, and sometimes it won't. But it's a good extension to have on hand in case it does. Honey only supports shopping sites in the US, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom, and India, as well as sites that serve global customers. If you saw the previous video in this series that included Invisible Hand, Honey is a good extension to use in conjunction with that extension. Number four, Grammarly. This is a great communication extension that many of you suggested in the comments of the previous video. Grammarly, as the name suggests, works to improve your grammar on nearly every place on the web that you can type, including Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, and others. There's a demonstration document on the Grammarly website, which gives some good examples. 
It's not just a spell checker. It makes sure that you're using words in the proper context and checks for other grammatical errors. I'll copy some of this text and paste it into a new message on Gmail to show you a real life example. Now we're in my Gmail account. As you can see, all errors will be underlined in red. Fixing the errors is simple. Just hover your mouse over one of them and in green, it'll show you the corrections. And then just click the corrected text to fix the error. If you select the Grammarly icon, you'll have a few options. You can choose to turn on or off Grammarly on specific sites, and you have the option to show definitions and synonyms via double clicks. You can change your language. You can also create a new document with the Grammarly document editor. At this time, Grammarly only supports the English language, Grammarly is free, and does have a premium version with more features. Number five, stylish. If you're looking to give the websites you visit frequently a brand new look, stylish may be just for you. This is an open source extension that can apply user created style sheets to a website to customize and personalize the appearance of a page. Stylish has been around a long time. I originally started using this extension years ago on Firefox, long before I started using Chrome. This extension is easy to use too. I'll demonstrate here on the YouTube site. On any website that has supported stylish themes, the icon will be colorized. Otherwise, it'll be grayed out. So select the icon, and you can scroll through the themes for this site. If you don't like any of these, you can select Find More Styles for this site, which will open a new tab with more to choose from. You can install from here after selecting View Details, and then install style. I'm going back to the YouTube homepage to install directly from the extension. So I'll go back, select the icon, and I'll select black YouTube. And as you can see, it instantly changed. And you can do this with multiple sites. So check out Stylish if you want to give your favorite websites a brand new look. That concludes this list. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if you have a favorite Chrome extension that you feel should be mentioned in a future video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more amazingly useful videos and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.